taking some serious steps forward. So um, I, overall, I'm pleased with that group. They are they are improving. Um, there's still some, some you know some ways for them to go to catch up to the first group to where they're game ready to go in and, and win and, and, and win games. But uh, again, I think they put themselves in position to take that step. You know, when we get to the fall. I know, I know numbers are low there, scholarship wise, scholarship bodies wise. Do you anticipate you'll hit the portal with more guys in the spring? Well, um, we're always interested in, in good players. So, um, you know, Coach Riley's, uh, you know, basically um, got us in a position where we have that availability. So, uh, if there's players that we feel that can come help us and help us go where, where we want to go and that's win championships and certainly we're interested in that. Justin Dulich has kind of been that swing line and the sixth guy of these last couple of years. And he's gotten, it seems like a lot of reps this, with the first team this spring. What have you just seen from him in general? Um, I think up to this point, Justin may, may be our most consistent performer through the spring. Um, he's done a really nice job. He's a... Uh, he is uh, executing at a high level every day. He's playing really physical. Uh, he's getting all his assignments right, and he's doing all the little detailed things right. So I, I'm really pleased with where he's at. Is it safe to say that he might be one of the few guys you can least afford to lose? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, yes. I mean, I mean that would uh, be something that you know obviously would be uh, an obstacle for us to overcome. But uh, I don't even like to think about those things. Neither do we. Talk about the. Sorry if they already asked, but kind of the search for depth, it was kind of a goal yeah, to start a spring. Yeah, um, it, it, yeah we, we talked about it a little bit, but um, I, I think that that we're, that we got some guys that have taken some steps forward. Um, they've got themselves in position to be someone that can be counted on in a game. Um, if they can show the same type of improvement through fall camp and through the first few weeks of the season. So they've got themselves in position to go make that run um, when we get in the fall camp. So I feel good about where those guys are at, um, at least positioning themselves. You know, they, they've made a lot of improvement, uh, not where we need to be, but at least position themselves to, to, to have that opportunity to do that once we get in the fall. And how do you balance kind of grading them out as a five-man group versus maybe let's throw this guy in with this group of four and see how that's going? Like, how do you, how do you balance that out? We've done that a few times during practice, and uh, it's kind of funny. Um, I think that, uh, you know, and, it, and I told the guys this, you know, I, it's kind of funny that we get a, a second team guy, and he goes there at the ones, and he actually plays better than he did on the second team. I'm like, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is that you're, one, you're around guys that are communicating and maybe communicating more, and they're helping you get the right assignment. But, um, but number two, I think sometimes guys going there are like, oh, man, I'm with the ones. Like, I got to really step it up, pick it up. And it's like, well, if you practice that way with the twos, maybe you would be a one. <laughs> and so um, – um, or you would have yourself in position to be the next man that goes in the game, um, you know, from an injury standpoint. So uh, I think that's that's our challenge. That's our goal. But it's – that's been good. You know, when I when I look at guys as, as a total five, I really like the, the first five right now. Just it, 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 from a standpoint of just the way they're communicating, the way they're operating together, um, they're all on the same page. They can come back and give me immediate feedback about what went wrong, what went right. Um, and so when I get a group of guys that are operating like that, that gives me a pretty good comfort zone of uh, being able to coach those guys and help them get better through the season. At this They're, level, is it basically that communication piece that lets you know you're watching twos versus ones more often than not? Uh, you know, it, it, it sometimes is. It's a little bit of communication, a little bit of technique. Um, you know, it's not always ability. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, it's kind of just basic stuff, you know, knowing your assignment, knowing how to execute that assignment once you do it consistently and so that's that's what separates the twos most of the times from ones. You had a lot of former USC offensive linemen out here today. Uh, do they have any special message for your guys for your unit? Well I think it's just always um, or did you get anything out of those guys? Oh yeah I always ask questions you know about hey what did you do? How did you block this? How did you block that? I just like listening. You know in this game every year you you learn something new and uh, you know, you got guys standing out here that were great players. So if, if you don't uh, take that time to uh, talk to them and take advantage of their knowledge, you know, you're really missing out on something and you're missing out on opportunity. But um, um, it, it's just a real blessing for us to have um, some of the all-time greats that played offensive line here at USC. And it's a real blessing that they care about this place enough that they're out here 
um, man, almost on a daily basis, um, supporting our guys, you know, and everyone's been uh, super supportive. And so, uh, you know, our job is to go put a great product on the field that can make everybody proud. Do you guys have a, a good offensive line and uh, the passing game is kind of more established uh, in some ways. So I'm pretty sure you guys work on the, uh, you know, protecting, protecting him in the pocket. But what's the preparation like you know, preparing for like the running game? Well, I mean, we, we spend about equal times that each day in practice. I think, uh, you know, by what coach calls, you know, while we're out here on the field and what we work individually. Um, and so we're, we're, we're putting max time that we can into, into both areas of this game. Our, our job's not to just be good at one or the other. Our job's to be great at both. And, uh, and that's what we're going to do. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.